Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken's Training. Today we're going to do a review of the uh, Quep wet towel saw, the XP650 XT. And let me show it to you, it's right here. Here is the box that it uh, came in. And so there you can see the saw, the 650 XT Quep. And I got it at the Home Depot. I don't know, uh, what was it, uh, $79, $80. Here's the actual saw right here, I got it set up. And uh, it comes with a blade, it comes with this blade right here. And with this blade, this is the cuts that it produces on this porcelain tile saw. It produces a very uh, jagged uh, cut. Then I also, I got mosaic tile, which is this tile right here, and they said that, you know, if you're going to cut tile, you got to have a different blade, so I bought this blade here, also at the Home Depot, hold on, let me put that back like that, uh, so anyways, this one here was a rigid 7 inch uh, uh, mo mosaic tile saw uh, blade. Anyways, that was like $30 at the Home Depot. And with that blade, these are the cuts. This is the cut right here. Both of these cuts right here is the cut you can get with that. You can see the difference between the two, uh, how it's actually a very smooth cut. So the stock blade that comes with it is worthless, from my, my opinion. Now, uh, you'll see here, I've got a little bit of chip out going on right there, and I think there's some chip out right there too. The problem that I'm having is with the saw is that I am trying to build this here. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see, see it. Okay. All right. So what I'm trying to build in my shower is. Um, this uh, br block pattern on the bottom, 45's on the tops with little dots. The problem that I'm having is is that the tiles that I'm working with are 12 inches by 24 inches. So when you go to cut that in half, the way that you have to set up your saw, you have to set it up like the way that I have it, which is where the fence is uh, over here, and because this can be a little, uh, not this isn't exactly precise, as precise as when the fence is on this section, you it 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 uh, it can, the, the the tile walks on you as you're pushing it through. So for me to try to take uh, and uh, and cut exactly in half a 12 by 24 inch tile. It, it doesn't come out accurate. It walks on you as you're trying to move it through the cut. The saw itself is very, very quiet. There it is with the saw on. It's very, very quiet. Uh, let me show you inside what that looks like. When you want to put water in it, you just lift up here. And uh, inside here, they have like a, an overflow hole so that way you can only, oops, you can only fill it so much. When I first started using the saw, I actually took this level and filled it up just below this. That turned out to be way, way, way too much water. So this way when the blade, when it kicked on, water was kind of spraying everywhere. So I, I tamed it down so that the, um, the blade is just resting a, a small amount in the water so I can cut and I'm, I'm just cutting in a bedroom here so I could cut it in a, you know upstairs without getting water splashing all over the place. Um, the way that the uh, 45 degree angle cuts work is you pop these things out here when you go to put this in here that and then these rest inside these little containers here when you want to do a um, a 22 degree cut what you do is you bring this down 
and you bring it into this next notch right there so then it can do a 22 degree cut if you want to do it that way I mean it's not a bad $80 saw but if you're trying to do something with a little degree of intricacy or if you're trying to or, or even if you're just trying to cut uh, what I'm trying to do a, a, a 12 by 24 inch tile directly in half with a hundred percent precision um, then this saw is basically not exactly the saw you want. I think I'm going to have to go into the, the $300 range to acquire the saw that I want. Uh, just because I'm, you know, I'm building out my shower and, I, and I, it's something that's going to last a long time. Here's the project that I'm on. In fact, I've already started the back wall there. I got the mosaic cut there. But these, the back wall is very forgiving because uh, when you do your cuts along here and along here, uh, that's all going to be buried by this wall right here and by this wall right here. So you have a lot of forgiveness on those cuts. Now that I'm into the side wall here, and that cut on that tile is going to be exposed because there's just going to be a grout joint between the tile and this tile. But you will, if you're, if you're way off or whatever, you're going to see any imperfections that you do on these cuts. So uh, this 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 uh, inside wall uh, cuts are more have to be more precise than your back wall cuts. And and I haven't even gotten into the intricate part yet, which is in the top half where I wanted to do 45 with dots. So uh, and of course and of course I got to be pretty intricate once I get into the niches here and there. Um, so. <clears throat> So basically, on the on the 650 XT, you know, it's not it's a, it's, it's not a bad eighty dollar saw, but is if you if you really want uh, you know a hundred percent precision, it's just not going to quite cut it. Um, plus, this saw binds real easy. It um, it just binds up real easy. I got to admit, it's easy to clean. It's got a nice carrying handle. It's very lightweight, so it's easy to take care of in those regards. Uh, but uh, if you're looking for precision, not exactly it. I hope this helps.